Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. Get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel if you're not already, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Continue this month's feature with the FM Matrix and just having a look at the cause and effect in this section of FM8 and how we can use this to help our kind of sound design skills with FM8. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the pad sound we have playing there, but also using the pan options that we can use or apply to these operators to create a kind of auto panned effect in combination with the envelopes and the customizable envelopes in FM8. So let's start off create this new sound and just get the crux of the sound together for now. So start off with operator F. I'm going to keep it a ratio of 1 and keep it as a sine wave and I'm going to root this. I'm actually going to keep this just root straight to the output at the same volume of 80 and operator E next you can turn that on and I'm going to route this through the filter about 70 and then route the filter to the output about 63 turn the filter on and operator E I'm going to take the ratio up to 2 so I'm going to take it up by one octave and I'm going to change the waveform to a short tri-state Got a bit of an organy sound at the moment. So, yeah, next up, I'm going to turn on operator D and I'm just going to feed operator D into operator E. So, and it's not had an awful lot of an effect on the sound at the moment, but if I turn the ratio here to 1.4. get that quite really discordant sound and because we're not stacked up too many operators in here and we've got too much kind of nothing's feeding into D at the moment and there's not too much kind of rooting going on here it's it's kind of just enough and to make it a little bit more gritty turn it into a sixth format So what we've got here when we're thinking about FM synthesis is we've got operator E is the carrier here and operator D is the modulator. So operator D is kind of modulating operator 3 using this 6th form and waveform and this ratio of 1.4. So also actually going to take the cutoff and the resonance down here so Just kind of got operator F again now. We're going to use some modulation on that filter. So LFO2 here, use this to modulate the filter. Push up to about 38. So we've got that kind of sine wave is just going clean to the output, and then this D and E, this kind of frequency modulation we've got going on here into the filter, and then we've got this modulation on the filter. Set this filter up a little bit, let's sync it. Keep it as a triangle waveform, but key sync it. And let's take the key scaling, velocity scaling off. Just push the ratio up slightly to about 55. So the next thing to set up with these three operators that we have here is the envelopes. Let's go over to the envelope section. And with the mode checked on SLD, so if I check it to fix, then I start moving stuff around. The sustain point and this end point stays the same. So check it to SLD because we want to drag the attack right out here. So we don't really need to tempo sync this or anything. And just so we've got this kind of slow attack on the sound. And actually let's link all three envelopes together. So we've got that nice kind of the sound kind of creeps in a little bit. Pull the release out slightly and let's just pull this decay right down here so we get this kind of nice slope decay here. Okay, 
anyway. So that's just in the effects section here. Just using the EQ for now, just to boost the volume a little bit. And let's move over back back to the operator section. Introduce some more introduce some more operators here. So turn on operator C and I keep this as a sign and the ratio of one. Just route straight to the output. And what I want to do here is feed it back into itself just to kind of bring out a bit of top end on that operator. And also operator B, turn that on, route that to the output at about 52, slightly quieter. And yeah, this can stay the same as well, ratio of one, waveform sign. And then I'm going to use the output of operator E here to apply some frequency modulation to operator B. So go to about 17 there. And so what I want to do here is I want to set something up where this sounds like as it is from D, E and F. We've got that kind of creeping sort of pad effect with the LFO modulation and then it kind of dips off again. And what I want to do here is get operator B and operator C got quite a similar sound, both sine waves at a ratio of one. We've got some slight kind of like I guess like just distortion or roughing up of the waveforms here with this kind of like routing and stuff in here. So what I want to do is have the sounds of these C to kind of be in the right speaker, to creep into the right speaker, then dip off, and then B to creep into the left speaker. So we get this kind of auto panning effect on the sound. So we can actually use the FM matrix, we can use the bottom row here. This applies to panning on all of these operators, so we can just pan individual operators, which is a really cool feature. So I start off with operator C, and I pan that to the right at about, not hard pan, about 60. So it's over to the right speaker now. And operator B, pan to the left, a little bit more maybe, about 71. So what we're getting here, we're automatically getting that kind of panning effect because we've got a slow attack on operator E. Remember we set up this envelope here, we've got this slow attack. So this frequency modulation that's being applied to operator B, at the start of the sound, there's going to be no, none of this kind of frequency modulation is going to be applied. But as we sustain the sound and the envelope for operator E kicks in, kind of get that gritty distorted effect in the left speaker so can enhance this effect here by using the envelopes so operator C I'm going to back the attack off slightly zoom in a bit here and then just pull, pull this decay phase right out push the slope up a bit so Push this decay up a bit more. So getting that kind of it's in the right speaker, and then it sort of tails off. And then what we can do with operator B and the envelope for operator B, back this off a bit further, so it's definitely not matching operator C. So back it off about here to maybe the two point. Still none of this is tempo sync, we don't really need to tempo sync these envelopes. And then just pull this decay out, or the sustain point. And then, yeah, similar thing. So now... We're getting this sound, the sound's kind of like panning to the right and then it's dipping off and then panning to the left. So it's almost like we're getting this effect where the, the sound's kind of sweeping from the right speaker to the left speaker. I mean, we could enhance it further by just going hard panning on these sounds. And the combination of the envelopes here in this FM matrix and just the cause and effect, you know, kind of doing some routing, doing some frequency modulation and this panning feature here, we can create sort of quite complex, 
sort of pad sounds or you could apply this kind of like auto panning principles to all sorts of sounds so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial hopefully it's shedding more light on this FM matrix and the cause and effect in here and also the kind of use of envelopes and applying that to these operators so yeah any questions please get in touch and also make sure you get yourself over to our website fmatutorials.com tons more tutorials on FMA on there and yeah thanks for watching all right cheers bye